Hello everybody, it's Anne from Anne Stampin' Up. Welcome to another card making day in Simcoe, Ontario. I'm an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator here in Simcoe and if you live anywhere in Canada and you don't have your own demonstrator you can shop with me. You can reach me at stampsandtea at gmail.com or my demonstrator website is stampsandtea.stampinup.net So, welcome everybody. Today, um, today's um, video is more of just putting this card together. I mean, we all know how to stamp, we all know how to cut paper and things like that. Today we're going to do a technique class and it's called Twist and Pop. So this is the annual catalogue and everything we're going to use today um, is in the annual catalogue except for this stamp set. It's called Happiest of Birthdays. I don't think it's still in there. Let me just look. Um, but Happiest of Birthdays is an older set but it's got a lovely big birthday greeting on there so I kind of use it a lot all right we have some um, we're going to use the circle sayings set again we're going to use the cupcake from this but none of the sentiments I don't think no none of the sentiments just the cupcake um, Circle Sayings is on page 17 and it's uh, 56 50 for the bundle which is stamps and a punch but we're not using the punch today. We've got um, some lovely DSP which is the bright and beautiful DSP we've used that before but lovely colours really good set for a little bit of everything. We're going to use some dies today we've got uh, the deckled rectangle dies we've used those before they're a lovely set $41 for those and we're going to use a set that's new and it's called nested essentials they're on page 165 and you get um, three different shapes of dies and they all have the lovely stitched border around you get um, rectangles gosh I don't know what they are um, this shape here and you get some flags as well so we are going to use the largest one the largest die here today okay now because this is a complicated card um, I've done all my stamping ahead of time except for one little piece I've done all my cutting out and um, basically what I need you to see today is how to make the mechanism for the card and it's called a twist and pop card all right i'll put that over there as well we don't need that so first of all let me bring in my paper cutter now you can do this you can do your scoring using a paper cutter or you can use your um, scoreboard as well either one will work just as well it's whatever you're most comfortable with so let's see what we've got to make this card. We have um, the card colour is um, Berry Burst. Berry Burst. And um, it's a lovely deep raspberry colour, I would call it. It's a lovely colour. The card base is 11 by 4 and a quarter. Uh, scored at five and a half sorry scored at five and a half gives you a standard card it's going to stand up it's going to it's a long card we've got a piece of DSP from the bright and beautiful set and I'm going to color that cover the whole card front with that so this piece is five and a half by four and a quarter we've got a piece that's going to go on the front and I used the third I think deckled die rectangle to cut this out that's going to go on the front and then we're going to have a stamped sentiment and I used the fourth deckled die rectangle for that <coughs> we've got um, a piece that I'm calling the insert of the card and this piece was 11 by three and a half all right it was scored at two and three quarters five and a half and eight and a quarter and that gives you three panels uh, four panels even panels we're going to fold it in half like that and then fold these two back so we're making depending on which way you look at it either the letter m or the letter w okay turn it that way you get a letter m 
okay who knew so we have that piece we've got two pieces of four by four just to put on the inside of the card to make it look nice and tidy this is from also from the uh, bright and beautiful set it's the one that's the stripes on one side and the stars on the other and i chose it because it's pale so you'll be able to write on this and it's not just plain white uh, we've got four pieces that i used that i cut out using the um, nested essential dies okay i used the largest die to cut these out normally you'd stamp and then cut out but I cut them out because I was I was sort of had a production line going. So I cut those out first ahead, first before I was started, and um, then I stamped and coloured them. Then we have this piece. Now this piece is what makes the mechanism. It is um, I'm gonna put this down here on my cutting board so you can see it. Now, it may not be really clear. This is the twist and pop mechanism. It's eight inches by three inches. Okay. And I'll tell you the measurements where I score it and show you how I score it when I do it. All right. So we're going to take this piece, put it in the paper trimmer or your scoreboard. And I'm going to score. So let me get the cutting blade out of the way. It's three inches wide this way. So we're going to score it at one and a half straight down the middle. There. Slide it. Make sure it's nice and tight. Give it a good score down the middle at one and a half. We're going to turn it around this way and we're going to score it at two and a half. four and five and a half so you've got two and a half at each end okay. yeah that's right two and a half at each end so you've got two and a half four and five and a half on this end one and a half straight down the middle then what you're going to do is you're going to Put this back into your paper trimmer or your scoreboard and I'm going to line up it might be easier to see on a white piece so there's my one and a half my two and a half four five and a half I'm going to score from the two and a half mark down to the bottom of the five and a half mark so you see how I've got it like an X in the middle of this card that's what I want so I'm just going to line this up in my paper trimmer like that Score it that way, turn it around and do the same with the other side. Go from the two and a half to the five and a half. Just like that, okay. I'm going to put the paper trimmer out of the way. And I've got a burnishing tool, okay. So what I'm going to do is fold and burnish all my lines. So I'm just going to flip that in half like that. Then I'm going to take it and fold it on one of my uh, diagonal lines. Turn it and fold it on the other diagonal line. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the front of this. Okay, so we folded it this way, we folded it this way, and we folded it this way. We're going to take it and fold it down the center on the center crease. And then we're going to open it up. We're going to hold the outside edges and we're going to take these fingers, these fingers, bend this slightly, push this to the inside there like that so what i did was do it again and you need to practice this part all right and you, you can do it it just it's just a case of getting it straight in your mind so pick your paper up squeeze the two set two outside edges keep your try to keep your flaps flat and then lie it down on the desk like that now it doesn't matter that these 
don't exactly meet here um, it really doesn't because it's going to be covered up but now give it a really good burnish with your burnish your, 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 your crease tool whatever you have that you use to crease your cardstock so you've got open edges here and you've got this piece on the outside this little flap here and if you turn it over it looks exactly the same there's your little flap and there's this piece okay we're going to take the card itself the card base i'm going to just set that up there i'm going to take the base and we're going to put um these pieces of DSP in first just so that that will lie on top of it and it will look tidy okay so these pieces are four by four and they're just going to go inside the card just like that top and bottom all right so I've got some stamp and seal there's my little brown mat that little adhesive mat here Turn it around, we've got another one. And this one's going this way. Again, about an eighth of an inch around. There, so we've got the inside nicely decorated. Okay, it doesn't matter which is back or front at this point. So now we're going to take this mechanism and put it inside the card all right now if you want to be exact and you do you really do we're going to measure the middle of the card and mark it at two and one eighth there's a pen that i'll do i'm using a pen doesn't matter nobody's going to see it two and one eighth that is the center of my card because the card is four and a quarter wide so two and one eighth is my center and i just need that just so that i can see where i'm lining this up and it's going to go right there okay now i want to make sure that i have this quite straight and nicely even on both sides and it looks good now here's the trick you're only going to put adhesive on the triangle but you want this to be really really firm so we're going to put adhesive on this this um, stamp and seal plus adhesive just like that like that so we've got loads of adhesive on there but I want to come right out to the edges okay don't want this coming off and I'm going to fold this glue back just like that so you can't see see it but it's going to hold this piece hopefully right in place another thing you could do you could put your adhesive down and you could then put liquid adhesive on top of that some people do that i've never done it but i know some people do now we've got no adhesive sticking out at the side here all right so we're going to turn this over i'm going to put this down right just just shy of the fold of the card don't put it over the fold because you want the card to close all right let me just like see a couple of little pieces there and a good thing to do is when you've got the adhesive on this side turn your card over and have a look and run your fingers over and make sure you can't see any adhesive sticking out it's good adhesive this it's stuck to my fingers all right so we're going to put this down line it up just shy of the crease and I'm, i mean i'm talking a hair but then you want to before you press it down Make sure you've got this sitting sort of straight and give it a really, really good press. Now you're going to have to put adhesive on this side as well. So we're going to do that now and we're going to do the same again right along the edge.
run the finger down and flip this over so we've got no edges showing now it's harder to see on this side that you've got no edges showing but you know you can tip your card and have a look down the edges and then you're just going to take this piece and close your card on it give it a really really good press there you go and it opens like that and that's exactly how it should open I think if memory serves now it will not lie flat and that's okay because we kept it just a hair short of the crease on the card all right so we've done that piece now we're going to take this piece um, and we're going to put this into we're going to put this on the mechanism so that it opens up now I'm pressing that card down just a little so it opens up so what I'm going to do now where's my pen here's my pen I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to let me think hold it like this and I'm going to line this edge up with the center of the card just lining it up carefully and I'm going to flip this piece open okay make it nice and straight about the same top and bottom now you see this piece here that's where we're going to put adhesive from the edge of this card so I'm going to mark it down to the center line okay what I did I folded my card up into four I put the edge against the center crease I opened up one flap and I marked that corner we're going to put adhesive here all right we're going to take this and flip it right over so that it's up against the, the center crease but on the other side open this piece out and we're going to put the line down here on the bottom piece of the card okay so we're going to put the adhesive in there again we want it to really hold so we're going to use the um, stamp and seal plus we're not going to go past that line come on adhesive there we go that's three pieces on there tuck that in and I'm going to turn the card take this so that I've got this middle piece pointing up okay I've turned my card around okay. turned my card around so my center piece is like that I'm going to take this and I'm going to take this and I'm going to line my card up with my crease here against the crease here so we're going to line this up here open it up a bit that there and make sure it's nice and straight along the seam and it should stick out about an eighth of an inch on each side pressing that down and if I turn this over it's sticking out a little bit there so you can see I've got an eighth of an inch about a quarter of an inch and an eighth of an inch all right and this is where we get tricky so we're folding that closed all right we're going to put adhesive on this section now goes. now what we have to do now we don't just want to stick that down there because it wouldn't twist and pop all right we're going to take this card we're going to push the mechanism from this end and you see how it's already starting to fold for me this end here I want to be if you think this piece here is on top of the card here okay so this piece is on top of the card when it all folds this is going to flip so this is going to turn down 
let me get this right going right and we're going to turn it and as you turn this piece your mechanism closes lie it down flat make sure your card looks good and press it down and hopefully hopefully it opens and pops now a couple of times the first couple of times you have to sort of hold this and give it a gentle a gentle push to twist but once it gets going it's just the edges of the card that that catch on the whole thing once it gets going it lies down itself okay now I could have if I'd wanted and should have probably done was put the pieces on here first it's not a big mistake really I can do that now what we've got are some cupcakes and I've already colored three of them just to save time and I'm going to stamp the third one the fourth one oh, blocks are stuck together we've got some berry burst ink and we're going to stamp the celebrate circle that's lovely that's lovely just wipe the stamp off there and then I've got let me close that because that is red ink so that's going there then I've got this which is crumb cake crumb cake's always nice to stamp in Be, um, if you're going to colour because it just gives a nice light outline. I'm just going to stamp the cupcake in the middle. There it goes. And we're going to colour that with some alcohol markers. Now, I used, um, I've got all sorts of markers here. That was um, bubble bath. And that, that I use. This was... Um, the lighter colours, light bubble bath, light Tahitian Tide, light Highland Heather, Highland Heather, yeah, light Highland Heather, and I've got one more colour which is light lemon lolly. Okay, so we're going to colour in you um, the cake, the little bit that you see that's left for the cake, which is just this little bit here, that's the top of the cupcake. Um, and for that I'm using the light pecan pie colour marker and that's all I'm going to do with that Just touch that corner up that's light pecan pie the cupcake liner is um, the darker so saffron and that's just going to colour in the um, the cupcake liner turn that around so I can see it see the edge where I'm colouring and just fill it in and you see because we're using lighter colours and you think the um, crumb cake is a lighter colour but you can still see all the nice markings through it and then we're just going to colour in the icing using light lemon lime twist and honestly it just takes a minute to colour and I'm managing to talk while I colour this week whoops I just stopped there you go so there we've got four different cupcakes all lovely colours we've got four of them and we're just going to pop these on the inside of here doesn't matter which so which square we put them on they're going to fit nicely like that so i'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on them all and what do we got purple green, blue pink okay so we're going to put this one here and it gives us about about an eighth about a, a, a good eighth of an inch i would say all the way around there's one this one's going to be trickier to put on, but we'll manage. This is why I should have put these on first, because now I'm trying to work on an angle. 
But we're always up for a challenge, so it's okay. So I can hold the card like this. There, and I'll put this one, the Tashi, Tahitian Tide. And we'll hold the card this way. Oops, it's a little too low. There, and one more of Light Highland Heather. And that can go down here. There. So now let's close the card. Again, we'll give it a little push just to help it for the first time or two. Keep pressing. There we are. Now we're going to decorate the front of the card. All right. Quickly decorate the front of the card. We've got this lovely piece of DSP, which is from the Bright and Beautiful set. And it's going to cover the whole front of the card. So we're just taking it. It's five and a half by four and a quarter. It's going to go right to the top edge. And if I get it straight, it'll go right down the card. Right to the bottom. All of this could have been done before I put the mechanism in. And it probably should have. Um, but the purpose of the card is to show you um, how to put the mechanism together, really. that and then we've got a little piece of yellow uh, lemon lolly which is one of the colors in here and so is the berry burst and I used the large stamp from the happiest of birthdays and that's just going to go in the center there just like that there so there's your card for this morning lovely looking card from the front not bad if I do say so myself and then when you pop it open it's got a little surprise inside it's got cupcakes so there it is that's today's card you open it up pop and you've got some lovely cupcakes so thanks for watching everybody if you do sell your cards please use the Stampin' Up Angel stamp which just says all the images are Stampin' Up supplies and um, that's it have a great week until next week thanks for watching bye